Hi guys, welcome back to Thornton 100 Motorcycles YouTube channel. My name's Jody and today we're at Santa Pod. We are gonna run this bike up that drag strip right about in about an hour's time, something like that. In case you didn't see the last episode, we essentially came to the drag strip and we didn't do that great. We run a 10.68 second with the nitrous, but I do not believe that we were fueling correctly and the nitrous bottle pressure was also too low. So what we've done, gone to the shop, bought a load of hand warmers and we're cable tying them to the bottle to hopefully get a bit more heat into it, hopefully secure a better time and not make it fuel incorrectly by not having enough nitrous pressure. So this should be a good way of running it. And then we jump on this and hopefully run nine seconds straight away. Straight out of the box, what do you reckon? <laughs> we'll see. It's freezing cold in it, it's so cold. to lose we've got to lose two seconds now nah, we've got to lose a second and a half but yeah first two runs weren't great first run i missed a load of gears second run a bit on wheelie so if i can not wheelie and not miss some gears i think we'll be all right but it's not going great i must admit 0.32 reaction time on that first one though right we're gonna top up the fuel tank with a bit of race fuel which has ethanol in it big shout out to rich from tts performance, sorting us out with a bit of Renegade E85. And then hopefully we'll be able to run it on the nitrous, even though we've got a lower bottle pressure and we won't get the coughing and spluttering that we were getting. So hopefully. <laughs> this is Rich's bike, which is a high, well, it was a high booster. <laughs> Supercharged obviously by the man himself. 500 horsepower, Yeah. something like that. On a good day. On a good day, 500 horsepower. And you're running like mid eights, high eights. Yeah. Mid eight. 179 mile an hour, which obviously is a little bit quicker than what my Bob is doing. However, we might get there one day, probably not. <laughs> Rich is having some software issues, which is interesting because you engage the launch control, but it's engaging your limiter all the way down the track. Yeah. So out comes a laptop, which is what I should be doing really. I should have my laptop here and change my launch control on that. But hey ho, we've got E85 in the tank, and we've got some pumped up bottles of nitrous. So down the track, see what happens. What a fun day me and the boys have had down at Santa Pod quarter mile drag strip. Again, we've had such a good time chasing that elusive nine seconds, which unfortunately we didn't manage to get today. Our best today was a 10.54 second run at around 130 mile an hour, which is pretty good. I absolutely nailed that last run. I do not think that this bike can go any faster than that in this current temperature with this current wheelbase, this current power setup. There is definitely mileage in the bobber platform to go faster and we will be back. It might not be this motorcycle, but we will be back and I will be banging them eight and nine seconds with more power, more wheelbase, more fuel, more nitrous, more everything. And I absolutely cannot wait for you guys to follow the journey through winter as we engineer our way past 10 seconds all the way down into the nines and potentially eight second runs too. So comment, tell me what you think we should do the next WFB to make it go faster than this one currently does. Okay guys, so with it being season end, the WFB actually went up for sale and has now sold. We sold it on the collecting cars platform. Quite happy with the price we got for it. And although it is sad to see one of my favorite machines go, it's very exciting for us to look forward and start to build the new one. So I'm gonna go and deliver the WFB now to its new owner. 
Right then guys, the WFB has just been delivered. Let me show you guys why you shouldn't be upset about the WFB leaving because it has gone to the absolute best home that I could ever imagine it could go to. Check this out. Absolutely wild. So what have we got? We've got an Aventador S, the LaFerrari, so sick. The GT2 RS, absolutely love that. Next to the 964 Rough. Come on, look at the number plate on that, that's a joke. Up here we've got some cool bikes. We've got a 300cc two-stroke Sherco Supermoto. We have a road legal H2R Kawasaki. This thing is so sick. Never seen a road legal one before, fully daytime MOT converted, love it. We've got a V4R Panigale. We have classic Ducatis. We have mini Porsches knocking about, memorabilia everywhere. And then the Augusta. And guys, check this out, this is absolutely wild. Full two lane bowling alley, that is just absolutely wild. We got all of the shoes over here. Look at this GT2 RS, look at that one plate wasp. Absolutely love it. This thing actually gets used on the track. The LaFerrari is used. We've got some titanium wheels over here for the GT2 RS. Chill out area over here. Check it out, the full scoreboard. And obviously we have the world's fastest bobber next to the LaFerrari. This thing is absolutely in its element next to this absolute monster of a car. Two beasts sat in their new home together. And this thing is absolutely wild. I really love it. And what a special place for the WFB to come to. So me and this guy who own the garage are gonna have lots of fun together building some more bikes. So what a home for the WFB. Absolutely love it. Okay, so that's the WFB delivered. I can't wait to see that bike getting used properly as it should be and getting as much enjoyment out of it as I did as well. The customer is really, really cool and obviously he's got the coolest collection of stuff and I'm looking forward to working with him in the future. So, now the WFB has gone, that only means one thing and that is that we're gonna get a WFB.2. That's right, we're gonna build another bobber which is gonna be even faster, even more powerful. We've got a few tricks up our sleeve including bigger superchargers, carbon wheels, loads of lightweight components and basically everything turned up to 11 on the bobber. So stick around guys, make sure you catch all of our updates on that too because it's gonna to be a monster, monster build. So thank you so much for watching guys. Make sure you click that subscribe button because a lot of you guys are watching but you're not subscribed and comment down below as well as to what you think we should add onto the new WFB and what you would like to see on it too. So thanks for watching guys, we'll see you next week.